fine margins really in the end, but what shape do you feel like you're in going into the, the, the league campaign proper? Well, I think that we're, you know, we're, we're pretty much there now. It's we, we, we had to use the League Cup to try and get as many minutes in boys and, you know, sort of so, so-called pre-season. Of course, we would have loved to have got through, but the, the way that the season finished and how late we finished and, you know, how kind of the time off that we had as well, the manager, all the staff had an idea of what they wanted to do with the players during the off-season and then when we came back. So, you know, everyone's had some game time now. We've had a good few weeks training now, so we just have to... You know, this is where it really matters now is the league again, so it's, it's one of those for, for me, it's a deja vu of going, going back over it again and you know, trying to get ourselves promoted. Yeah, in terms of momentum, you might not have won the game at Dens, but you certainly, it must have been a, quite a decent confidence booster, particularly for some of the young players, uh, to know they're coming up against a Premiership team and where that places you. You know, at least for this first part of the campaign. Yeah, I think each game that we played in the League Cup, we could see there was, you know, there was improvements. Boys were getting a little bit sharper. You know, the Dundee game, you know, definitely defensively we were a lot stronger. You know, attacks as well. We had opportunities like we had in the previous games as well. So, and the goal that we lose, you know, it's just one of those. You know, the boys shoots. Looks like it maybe just be going wide. Wallace does what you want him to do for, and you know they get a bit of luck after that. So listen, that's that, that happens. But now that I think, as I said, the the performances for the last couple of games. We have to build on, but most important now is where the league campaign start, and we need to, you know, sort like stop conceding goals and scoring goals at the other end. You know, that's the most important thing. One of my favourite cliches is the old "it's a marathon of a, of a sprint," but it's still nice to start with a home match against a Queens Park side, which I'm putting into the unknown category. Um, you know, it's it's there's been so much change there in players and in management that, that I don't know what to expect so goodness knows it'll be the same for you guys yeah it's true you know we'll do our video stuff tomorrow on that with the manager and go over it and like you said they've changed the manager they brought in different personnel I think the style of play as well might alter to what they previously last year when they were in the league when they came up they were difficult you know we found it hard against them I don't think we beat them last year as well so for us as you said to start at home with a win would be perfect but like you said, it's going to be a long, long season again. You know, we have to try and pick up as many points as we can. I think home. I think our home form last year let us down massively. I think we need to try and improve that. We need to get, and I think, as I said, get supporters through the gate to like support us. I think it's from the, the the back of the cup final. You know, you've seen the support that we got, and like I've said to many people around the city that have spoke to me around. If we could just get an extra, maybe even fifty or hundred people through the door than we did last year, that's a massive improvement. But I think the big thing is. We have to try and, as a football club, you know, sort of build that momentum that we created last year, and obviously it comes from winning football games and trying to get promoted, and that's what we're going to have to do again. Boys are already, we know what we have to do, so you know, it's, it's, if we can start with a win, it would be ideal. Yeah, absolutely. My final one is, is you've had probably the last couple of seasons you've been chasing, chasing after you know what's been an injury hit or difficult start, uh, but you finished both seasons so strongly, like real promotion uh, form, and I'm guessing you can capture that, begin the season strongly, which there's no reason why you can't, and then it could be a different year altogether. Yeah, I think there is bits in the season, like you say, we have to improve on, and you know, we the last sort of couple of years we've hit that spell, the run, run of games where we haven't won, and maybe I think it was like eight or nine games and, and so forth, but you know, this is it's hard because it's, it's it's a difficult league, everybody knows that. You know, this year especially, I think a lot of teams, even the teams that have been promoted, are good teams, they've got strength in numbers, you know, teams are financially backed as well, so it's going to be difficult. You know, but we've got a good sort of mix of players down there, experience and and youth as well. So you know, we've got what. Listen, there's guys in the dressing room that know what has to be done, and we have to do that. And I think most important now is is going out there. You know, starting a win with a win on Saturday would be perfect. So yeah, it's going to be difficult. But as you said right at the beginning, it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Absolutely, football. It's unpredictable. That's why we love it. Yeah, correct. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Some of used to. Do you remember a few years ago the Cove game to the Hearts game? There was a big difference in the team and how well we played against Hearts at Tynecastle. And then I think after that, that Hearts game, although we lost, I think we were, it was a five or six one no victories in a row. We weren't on a, yeah. a great start. I hope you'll be thinking it'll happen again this year. Yeah, well, that, like I said, the League Cup, you can take what you want from it. And I think that's what you know. some teams do it completely different to other teams. And I know that speaking to players from other teams as well and you know what the managers have said. And, and I think it's just it's a strange situation you find yourself starting a competitive game so soon, but you know results wise, performances wise, it, you know it doesn't really matter if your if your main focus is what starts this year is obviously the league. 
previous years, like you said, we've had great performances where we've had terrible performances, but then we started the league well and we started sort of average. But I think the biggest thing throughout this whole this year we have to try and is to stop these wee sort of blips that we go on where we're losing maybe five, six games or not winning and sort of up to ten games I think it was a couple of years ago as well. And that ultimately what cost us. So you know we have to try and make sure that if we want to do that it's going to be one or two games before we're back winning again and that's the mentality that I'll have, you know, and the managers have said trying to get into the players and we, we have to have that because, you know, I don't think this year I think it's going to be tight again. I think but what you're going to have is a lot more teams competing. Just like last year, you know, when I think it was going was it eight teams going into the last day of the season, you know, had something to play for. I think that's that could be the case again this year. You know, but we just have to make sure we're the ones up there, you know, that sort of teams are trying to chase. Uh, Billy Basin did it, you just mentioned it about sort of mental, uh, mental sort of strength and stuff, and you've not given you age, you've been around the block a few times in this league, you said six years in it, so is that something that maybe like, the coaching staff will put on you and Welsh and older boys to install the young boys that maybe haven't experienced the championship or the top end of the championship? Yeah, I think so, you know, we have to, and I think, of, you know, as I said, the older boys, you know, like myself as well, it's, it's we try that, we try and be positive as we can with them, because I think what you find now in football, especially when, when bad performances or, you know, sort of, if you, if, personally, if you don't play well, social media is huge, young boys are all on it, all over it, you know, I use it as well, and it's so easy for them to pick up sort of negative comments, and for some people it can only take one comment, and, you know, I hate to say it, but boys go hiding after that, they don't want to, you know, they try and be safe, or, you know, they might say, oh, I don't, like, I don't know, injury-wise or something, because it, it's so easy to be done, and I think, you know, I think we have to sort of basically tell them to ignore that, you know, and that's, that's football, you know, it's the, the higher level you play at, you know, I'm lucky to have done that, there's more people in the stadium, there's more, being a goalkeeper especially, you hear it first hand, you know, so I think the mental side for, for young boys, I think it's really important that they have to stay as positive as they can and keep performing, and I'm talking young boys, I'm talking 25 year old, 26 year olds as well, because it is the, the, it's so easy to see negative comments and bring themselves down, but I think this year we're going to have to try and stay as positive as we, as we can and I think that's the thing I think I've noticed so far so far what we brought in there's a lot of positivity around them you know the boys are happy we got on really 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 well such a this football club is an easy club to to get players to, to assemble and know each other quickly because there's you know you're, you're you're basically isolated from everything else you know the boys are out and doing stuff together and that old guys like myself, you know, that's not me now, I've got the wee man to look after, you know, get home early, but no, they, they're doing that, and that'll help us hopefully, so yeah, as I said, it's really important that we can just remain positive and, you know, look forward to it, and as I said, when negative things do happen, we just have to try and be as positive and get back to the to, to the good things as, as quick as we possibly can. Yeah, no, I'll say every game's important, but is it especially important, obviously, to get a a good three points to board this Saturday. Obviously, you have the like, the League Cup weekend, the full weekends, so not like that, and then it's two tough away games without the summer set and good energy after that. Yeah, I think what. As I said, winning at home is obviously important. Last year it wasn't good enough, the home record, so we have to improve on that. But now we, we've got an opportunity to start a league with a win again, like we did last year, against a team that, as I said, we'll find out more probably tomorrow. I've not seen much of them since they've changed the manager and stuff. And even like we've got Jack Davidson in as well, but. Uh, Jake, sorry, but it's like one of those where he doesn't know what's going on because he's left there and they've changed as well, so we don't really know. But yeah, if we can start positive, and like I said, I think the most important thing is it create a buzz around the city again, get more fans in, and you know, sort of build on that because I see a lot more younger kids as well, you know, wearing Cali tops in around the city and stuff, which is really, really good. So you know, they'll come to the game, but if we're winning, and you know, they'll keep coming, and that's what we have to try and do as well, you know, try and get the income, try and get the support that will hopefully push us over the line come the end of the season. Right, good luck on Saturday, just. Ah, cheers, guys. Thank you.